Let's take a look at the Dustland cardigan. This is my new Dustland design with buttons, a beautiful button band. So if you've knit the Dustland sweater, it's really similar top down, but you're gonna knit flat, all those knit pearl textures. And there's lots of garter stitch in this pattern. So when you knit garter stitch flat, that means it's a lot of knitting and less purling. So if you like knitting more than purling, then you're gonna really like the Dustland cardigan. And uh, I knit it at a quite a longer length. So the Dustland cardigan is knit flat and you can customize the length and the yoke depth and all of that stuff. If you want really long sleeves like my sample, you can just keep on going for that nice relaxed style. But it's knit with DK weight yarn. So to get started with your Dustland cardigan, you're gonna wanna find a really nice DK weight yarn. I really like non-superwash wools because they don't stretch out so much. They have a little bit more structure. But if you use superwash wools, maybe just go down a needle size because sometimes those grow a little more. But I used West Wool Tandem for the Dustling Cardigan and it's a DK weight yarn and you'll need anywhere between four to eight skeins. I used seven skeins for my size. This is size five, but it's knit, it's knit really long so that the sleeves are really long and the waist is quite long. It kind of goes down halfway to my thigh or so. So with size five, you could get away with like six skeins if you're knitting it shorter. And if you're knitting those smaller sizes, then like four or five skeins is enough especially if you want to knit like a cropped. That would be really cute for spring, like a little cropped Dustland cardigan. But this is in the West Wool Pebble colorway, our light heathered gray. And there's just so many color options with this. It's designed in one color. You could of course do color blocks and all of that, like different contrasting cuffs or collars would be really fun, but just one color of DK weight yarn. And this is our tiger colorway and Beatrix. I pulled these warm tones because I think that would look really fresh and really vibrant with all those knit pearl textures. So a few techniques that you're gonna run into in the Dustlin cardigan. At the very beginning, there are some garter stitch short rows, but I put lo a lot of video links in my patterns. So if you haven't done short rows before, I do the West Knits shortcut rows to raise the back neck. There's video links to walk you through all the techniques, like how to do the short rows. There's a little cable cast on under the arm. There's a video tutorial for that as well. And I also shared a video tutorial on how to do the one row buttonhole. So you're gonna knit flat, try on your cardigan, customize the length, put your final ribbing at the bottom, and then you'll pick up for the button band at the very end. So this is done in two by two ribbing, and I put about 10 buttons on my sweater, but I have a video that shows you how to place your buttonholes and how to do that one row buttonhole technique. It's really nice and the, it, ma it makes buttonholes that don't stretch out too much so that uh, they don't lose their shape and then the button slips through. Um, yeah, it keeps its shape a nice and tidy little buttonhole there. So lots of fun techniques to try with the Dustlin cardigan. And then once you're finished, oh, Stitchy, come here. There's a lot of other Dustlin designs to try. There's a hat and a shawl and some mitts and the sweater, there's a cowl. I just love this texture and applying it to everything. And one of the other new patterns coming out or that's already out is the Dustlin dog sweater. So look out for this one, it's really cute. You can match your dog sweaters to your own cardigan or sweater. But Stitch is wearing the tiger colorway. It brings out the hazelnut in your eyes, doesn't it? Yeah, she just loves wearing sweaters and sleeping in them. So this used just one skein of DK weight and you could treat that little dog sweater or maybe the Dustlin hat as like a swatch or uh, getting to know the stitch patterns and then you'll get really comfortable with the stitch patterns and you'll be able to memorize them. By the time you do the sweater or the hat, then you'll know the stitch patterns to knit your own adult sweater or cardigan. So you'll find this pattern on Ravelry and Westknits.com and I put links down below on where you can get the cardigan and all the other Dustlin designs like this little dog sweater. I think I'm in deep trouble because I'm gonna start turning all my sweaters and shawls into matching dog sweaters. Are you okay with that stitch? Brioche is okay. He's just snoozing and chewing his foot down there. Brioche, do you want to show off your Dustlin dog sweater? He's giving me the side eye. What does that mean? Come here. Whoa. Oh my gosh, big boy. This used only one skein too. Brioche is wearing Cory Worsted, La Bienne May's Cory Worsted. Just one skein of that. It's the same yarn I'm wearing for my Dustlin sweater. And we love that, don't we? It's nice and heathered and we can coordinate and we have a whole little Dustlin 
Dustlin dog family stitch. You sit on your brother's back. How about that? We're going to have a whole family of Dustlin designs. I'll link all these down below and we're going to get into what the next dog sweaters are going to be. What do you think, Stitch? Do you need a painting brick sweater? Do you need a honeycomb sweater? All right, stay tuned. There's going to be some more fun knits ahead, but uh, check out those links and I'll see you in the next video.